Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for Labor Day, Monday the 4th of September 2017. I hope you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord, and I'd like to apologize for not having a uh, Rapture Watch for you yesterday. Uh, I had some family over and just took some time to, um, you know, spend time with family and, um, and kind of relax, and I was going to have something earlier, um, but I I didn't have anything um, prepared, or not that I really have anything prepared. Usually, I um, I'll just go with what the Lord is uh, leading me to to say, and um, you know, just talking about some some scriptures, and uh, you know, something that I'm reading at the time, or or what have you. So, you know, today I just wanted to um, to continue to encourage you guys. I, I I think that the last video I put out was um, was really encouraging, even for myself. You know, I think a lot of us do this where we'll um, we'll have the Holy Spirit, you know, speak through us. I, I know that I pray. I didn't do this time, but um, a lot of the times when I'm really feeling um, discouraged or or even just where I'm not really sure what to say, because coming up with a video every day, um, sometimes you really don't, you don't know what to say. So, I mean, I didn't want this to be like super sensational. Uh, I just want to spread the word of the Lord. And to be honest, you know, starting this, I was just under a lot of spiritual attack, um, and I don't know if, you know, I got a lot of new people, so I just want to maybe, you know, let you guys know the reason why I started this this uh, YouTube video um, channel was originally just to watch videos. I didn't do and record any of them. Um, I was just a regular YouTube watcher. And, um, I started to uh, follow false teachings of, um, you know, new age stuff. And I've been a Christian a long, long time, but I got duped into this false teaching. And I got to tell you, you know, the Lord, I truly believe, um, let me go down that road so that I could share from a Christian point of view how dangerous and how easily seductive it is to get into um, this garbage, okay? Because a lot of us who are Christians for a long, long time, um, you know, we have a very liberal heart. You know, we have a very uh, want, want to be there for people and, and not, you know, um, you know, we care about people and we don't see the sin or don't, we try and excuse things, you know, like I went to a church that was a United church and I didn't go to a church for a long time because I went to this reformed church once and, um, this pastor, uh, you know, he didn't like me and I could tell and took one look at me and, you know, I was talking to this very beautiful person who was, uh, she's just going there for the first time too. And we had this kind of, um, Hey, I'm new, you're new. And she was beautiful. And I was kind of shocked that I was, you know, I'm not the most attractive guy in the world, um, but I was totally shocked, and I had this great um, conversation going with her, and the pastor came up to me, and he put his back right to my, like, we were talking and having a face-to-face -face conversation, and this pastor put his back to my face and just, like, went right in between us, and it was the most rudest thing I've ever experienced in my life and um and he was just 
oh, you're such a, so good to have you and, and talking to this, this uh, woman. And um, I felt like garbage. I felt like total garbage. And I didn't go back to that church. And, um, you know, I forgive him. I don't want to have any unforgiveness in my heart, but I I do still feel that, that, um, you know, I have a really tough time with, uh, uh, rejection, uh, feeling rejected as we all do, you know, and I think to have a feeling of, of, uh, or to have a, a tough time with that, that's the heart of our Lord, you know. He, he came here for so many, and, you know, there's so many people that reject him. So, you know, to, to feel that feeling is to know their Lord even more intimate, you know. And um, But anyways, I'm not here to rebuke that pastor or, or anything. I haven't even thought of it for a long time. But the only reason I bring it up is because um, I was going to the YMCA, and I met a really nice person who is a lifeguard and we're talking about church and I was talking about my belief in the Lord and and she invited me to her church and it just happened to be a United Church. Um, and to be, to go into that church, I'm telling you, it was like night and day from the reform. I was accepted. I mean, I went in there wearing sweatpants, you know, and uh, like I, I couldn't have, I couldn't afford any clothes. I was very very poor, and um, not that I'm not now, but anyway, <laughs> um, but just an example of sweatpants, um, and, and I'm not complaining about my financial situations, I'm just saying, it's a joke, I'm just kind of making fun of myself, but anyway, um, I felt welcome, so that's why I went there, and not really understanding the the doctrine um, that they're teaching was so wrong, and it really primed me for this new age garbage. Because when you have a liberal heart and you want everybody to be accepted, and you're an outcast yourself, and you aren't respected by society, people don't care about you. To go to a United Church where they welcome you with open arms. And you see people who are gay and and have uh, lifestyles that are not of God, and you don't want to, I you know you don't want to inflict on them the same pain that you have on you, and and that's the heart of God. You know He loves everybody who's gay or has any of these sins. He just wants people to come to Him for healing and you know um, and so anyways I just I got into this this church because of the the pure welcome that I felt from this place and um, now understanding the truth of God's word and and holiness um it, it anyways my point is it led me down this road to this new age stuff where you know god's all loving and all accepting and everything's all good and i i knew in my heart something was off until i started getting i just the lord let me go down a path where i got bit by the wolves you know i think the hedge a protection, you know, a little piece of it lifted and a snake got through and I was I was really in a bad way. And I had to cry out to the Lord to deliver me from this from this new age stuff. I I just I couldn't I couldn't see the forest from the trees. It felt like I was in a dark room and there was a pinhole of light and Jesus guided me out of it. You know, so I know there's probably so many people out there that are in this new age movement and you know who are involved in this stuff and who are in this universalism like I got it you have to know it's all a lie 
Jesus said, wide is the path of destruction, narrow is the gate to everlasting life, and he is the only way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. Any other person trying to get in is a robber and a thief and will be judged. And, you know, it's... All he wants is the glory that he deserves for coming down here and becoming flesh to die. And how is that anything wrong to, for us to give him the glory that he deserves? Going through all of those lashings and pain and going through everything perfectly and getting killed for us. And we... We give glory to something else, to a piece of wood, to a piece of gold, to whatever, idols. He is the glory. He is the only one worthy of glory. And we have to respect his rules and his purity, you know. And does that mean we're perfect? No, I'm not perfect at all. I'm a fallen, broken, lonely man that only has the Lord. And I know there's a lot of people out there who are feeling the same. And you see what's going on. And and it's time to get on the ark, people. If you don't know the Lord, please, please cry out to Him. Because you may be afflicted with so many demons right now and you don't even realize. And He'll deliver you out of them all. If you have faith of a mustard seed, he will deliver you. He will deliver you out of it. He is faithful. Where other people are not, he is faithful. And it's time. We have hurricane after hurricane coming. And this is the labor pains are starting. And it's only going to get worse. And if you're doubting you're on the fence, don't wait too long. Because it's coming. And it's coming with more intensity. There's going to be more nuclear tests. There's going to be all kinds of stuff in the Middle East. In There's going to be all kinds of earthquakes in the United States. There, the fires are going to increase. The Everything is going to increase. It's not going to calm down. It's not going to calm down. We have our warning in this eclipse. So, I beg you guys, get right with the Lord. I beg you with all my heart. The time is now. No more waiting. No more debating. There is no debate. There's only one way to the Father. And that's through Jesus Christ.